Now that we've tested our threading and we know everything is good to go, we can sew a seam for real. So I have two pieces of fabric here that I'm going to stitch together. I've pinned them together with the right sides together, so that means the printed sides are touching. For my seam, I'm going to sew with a regular straight stitch, so I'm going to make sure my stitch selector dial is set for a regular straight stitch. And my length is going to be right between two and three, about two and a half, that's a good length for a seam. My width is going to be at zero, since I'm just sewing a straight stitch, I can leave that set at zero. And my needle position is going to be on the center needle position setting. So I will start by putting my fabric under the presser foot. I'm going to be using the guidelines to the right of the presser foot to make sure that I sew straight. And I'm going to just choose the one labeled 10. So that's 10 millimeters, which is the same as 3 eighths of an inch. I'm going to put the fabric under the presser foot and use the presser foot lifter to lower the presser foot. I want the top edge of the fabric just about even with the needle. And I'm going to start by doing something called a back stitch. A back stitch is how we secure our stitching and prevent it from coming out. The back stitch means that we're going to sew forward a few stitches. So I'll push the pedal, sew forward a few stitches. Now I'm going to hold the reverse lever and push the pedal to sew backwards a few stitches. So if you don't back stitch, your project might fall apart a little easier, which would be bad. So you want to make sure that you back stitch whenever you want a seam to stay in place. Now I'm just going to keep sewing. When I get to my pins, I'm going to take them out. You don't want to sew over your pins because you can break your needle or damage your machine. And as I sew, it's not my job to push or pull the fabric. That's what the machine does. It's just my job to keep it straight and gently guide it as it goes through the machine. When I get to the end, I'm going to end with another back stitch. So I'll sew backwards a few stitches, forwards a few stitches. And the final thing to do is to finish the last stitch. So when the machine stops, you want to look at the take-up lever and hand crank the wheel towards you until that take-up lever comes back up to the top. We're going to lift our presser foot, pull out our fabric, and cut our thread on the thread cutter. And here is my beautifully sewn seam. You can cut your thread tails right down to the fabric. And the next thing we need to do is press our seam. Pressing is a really important part of sewing. It's something you don't really want to skip. It will make all of your seams look a lot more professional and finished and nice. And all of your parts and pieces will line up a lot better. So in this case, I'm going to press my seam open. That means that I'm going to separate the sides of the seam allowance like this and press them with the iron so they're nice and flat and smooth. 